Hey, what's going on, guys? We're back. But this time, we are in a new area. Uh, I know when we left off last year, we were in uh, Tracking on the Teeth. And wasn't really a big fan of how you know barren everything was out there, how far we had to run between enemies. So I decided that we're going to make our way uh, through Dreadlands to Karnor's Castle. Now, uh, I know Dreadlands is still pretty open as well, but it's not nearly as open and, you know, secluded as Trakanon's Teeth is. Because basically, Trakanon's Teeth, your option is to go to, you know, Old Sibelis or back to Emerald Jungle. And that area was just getting too low level for me. At least here, we have some options. We can go to... You know, we can go to Burning Woods, we can go to Carnor's Castle. We still got some stuff out here we can kill, and if we want to, we can even go to Chardock. That's what I was trying to think of, Chardock. God, that took me way too long to think of. <clears throat> yeah, if we want to, we, we have options here, and that's what I was really looking forward to. Uh, just to kind of pick up right where we left off, we are level 40 currently, about to be level 41. And, uh, yeah, so we have some, we have some room to grow here. We still have our mercenary with us. We still have our druid out of group here, just in case if things turn sideways. Ooh, level 41. Yeah, we're going to have a lot more stuff to kill here. Whether in Dreadlands or Karnor's Castle, we're going to have a lot of stuff that we can kill here. And then once we hit 46, we can actually go to Old Sibelis. Which is going to be a very nice experience. <laughs> We're getting to the point where things are hitting drastically harder. Oh, Jesus. Wow. My rogue mercenary is destroying these guys. That is going to be super helpful for some of these higher level enemies. I got agents of change there. Still seems to be like pretty dang good experience. Stunning me at the last second, it's pretty rude. I've really been enjoying this uh, whole Kunark adventure. And this morning we uh, went through and we beat up the Luckland bosses, so we have some gear set aside for us when we hit level 60. Some of it's going to be level 55, some of it's level 60, but we are going to be very well equipped for level 60. See, I, I think we're just going to go into Karnor's Castle, because just running out and around and having to find enemies, kind of annoying. But at least in Karnor's Castle, it's pretty jam-packed, so I don't think we're really going to have much problem finding enemies. There we go. Brought our druid with us. Ooh, 
These guys are actually hitting me pretty hard. This stuff is going to start becoming drastically easier as we're leveling up and we start getting our auto-granted AAs. <clears throat> Once we're getting our auto-granted AAs, this stuff is just going to start becoming child's play after level 50. Because we're still going to be leveling in Kunark era content. And that was before AAs were ever really even a thing. So between that and like having completely geared out stuff, it's going to be nice. Oh, he did not like that. One mercenary, get him. There we go. Oh wait, is somebody here? Oh, there's people actually here. Damn. That is so strange. Alright, so we might have to find another place to level. Because I do not want to be taking items from, or taking enemies from anybody. Maybe we can just go up through the castle area here. Let's take off our mount. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not here to spawn kill or anybody or take their enemies. It's level, wiz level 50 wizard and level 50 ranger with their mercenaries. See what kind of experience we're getting here. We're at 67.9. So we're getting about 10% per kill with our double experience. Which is still pretty good considering we also have a mercenary with us. The, the thing I like about uh, leveling in the Kunark content, especially whenever we get towards the higher end game stuff, the end game Kunark stuff, is uh, the enemies are pretty much glass cannons. Like, they'll hit a little bit harder, but they die really pretty fast, especially between just me and a mercenary, considering this was meant to be like for full, full group content. They'll die pretty fast. It's going to make it that much easier to get the experience that we need to level. God, just looking at the Terror of Lucklin content that's dropping, Jesus. Those weapons are insane. I don't know what my mercenary's doing, but he's freaking out over there. Level 52, or sorry, 42. Level 42. Let's not... Let's not be dumb here. Okay, let's wait. Let's go ahead and pop our Lesson of Devoted again. Here we go. Dude, is my mercenary gonna attack at all? What the hell is going on with this pathing? 
This is not a good spot for mercenaries, it looks like. It really messes with the AI. Like, runs off in a different direction and then reappears. <laughs> we got some EverQuest artificial intelligence here. All of that and my mercenary barely took any damage. These mercenaries are just so overpowered in the lower levels. When they're working properly, they're overpowered. I wonder how much more powerful we're gonna get from uh, like from 42 to 60, because I think in the AAs that we get in that time frame, it's like two or 300 AAs that we get auto granted. So I think we're gonna be pretty beastly at that point. here for a little bit. As long as we're not, not taken from the other people here in the in the zone. I like I said I don't want to be that guy. Chardock might end up being a really good idea for us to level there a little bit as well. I know Sibelius is probably going to be from like 50 on, but you have to be at least 46 to enter it right now, I think, without without a key. Even with, like, this incredibly overpowered here that my tank has. Like, these guys are still taking a healthy chunk out of me every fight. But yet my mercenaries can tank them and basically take no hits. Kind of nuts. Spin me around. I did not like that. I just gave myself thorns.
Nice. Respawns. Make sure my druid's not floating off into the distance. I don't want to take your guys' enemies, but I also don't want to not have access to the entire last half of the zone, so... Yeah, we're just gonna run past the, the other guys that are camping down there. Since they're, they're in a spot, I don't want to take their enemies, but I'm also not just gonna only have the, like, the last... the first entrance area to kill shit. Okay, we're getting quite a lot of enemies here. It would be really cool if you would just go ahead and proc your damage here because this fucking healer is going to keep healing. My mercenary just doesn't proc anything when it needs to. It's whole 1200 direct damage DD thing is just not going to proc. And we're about to get another enemy. Okay, let's kill this damn healer. even doing it. No, my mercenary's not even doing anything now. Oh, nice. He freaked out. Nice. Mercenary just doing its mercenary things. Hate to have to heal, but that was getting too close now that my mercenary decided not to do anything. This is some damn good experience. Super, super good experience. Makes me wonder if Veneral Sathir is up. That'd be entertaining. Even though, I mean, he would absolutely demolish me. Just have to nuke him into the ground with my druid. That is one thing that I've always loved about the Kunark zones, especially since there's been newer zones introduced. It seems like they've always done such a, a like, go out of their way to increase the Zim uh, situation. 
like they always want to make these as, like as popular as possible. <laughs> Visage of King Galuqua for Chrono. How about no? You can suck some serious dick for that. Nope. For Chrono, that's my ass. At 18 bucks a Chrono, you want basically $80 for that. How about no? It's a, it's a great, it's a great illusion. Really, really cool illusion. But for Chrono, no. My days of spending ridiculous amounts for one item is a uh, past. Here in a second, we're gonna have to zone out and back in. So we can get our mercenary leveled back up. Matter of fact, let's just do that right quick. We're just going to camp out and back in real quick. Freshen up our uh, our mercenaries level. And we're back. Nice. Main tank. Main assist. And I'm a mercenary will put out drastically better damage from 40 to 44. Ooh, we get another melee damage increase at 45. That's going to be nice. And I didn't even think about this. After 46, we can start getting high level bu uh, buffs. Haha. <laughs> Yep, at 46, we can actually start getting level 65 buffs from our good old druid here, which means increase damage, increase uh, damage shield. Okay, I guess we can't go in there. Yeah, increase damage, increase damage shield, increase hit points, increase regeneration. Let's just go for it. We're going for it, boys. Some good old cursed hands. Anybody here remember the... Uh, Kunark equipment that used to drop from these guys back in the day. Oh, Construct of Sathir. We have a name. That's why. Oh, this might hurt. A little bit better there. I know this is totally cheating, but I don't care. One at a time. level is that construct of Sathir? He's getting hit with my druid's damage shield and he's only like barely dropping a couple percent at a time. Dude must be a... It's a tanky boy. Ooh. He is definitely a tanky boy. Oh, he's level 52. Okay. Damn. Ooh. 
when do I finally start proccing Blade of Carnage? Nice, in one level. Will be unfreaking stoppable. Yeah, buddy. Oh, shit. Where are you going, dude? Blessed Mallet, Helm of Ryle, oh, nice. Okay, let's see. Let's kill them all. This has really been not so bad, though. Like, every every area we're going to, we're in that area for, like, five levels or so. We're making our way there really quick. I don't want to rush all the way to 60, but I think it's going to be really cool when we're finally there. Also, as a surprise, I think here soon I'm going to be taking uh, a group of like level 75s, level 80s, and to kill some old world bosses like Avatar War and stuff like that. I think that would be really cool to go through and try to do. These guys are all really high level for me, so... Man, 
god, he's running for it. Nice. Petrified werewolf skull. Oh, it's a no trade item. Wow, that's incredibly uncommon here. Ornate Defiant. Fuck that stuff. Alright, folks. Well, this is going to be it for now. Uh, really, really good grind session here. We got some, uh, got some extra experience in. Had our uh, druid help out here as well. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. That was it, 40 to 45 today. We're going to work on some extra grinding later. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.